Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue class 10 science. This is set 2 key answers from 1 to 14. In the previous video, we have answered for set 1. Now let us move for set 2. The first question of set 2 is the salt present in tooth enamel is dash. So among these four options, the right option is option A, calcium phosphate. So for the first question, the right option is option A, that is calcium phosphate. So tooth enamel is made up of calcium phosphate. Then second question, identify an involuntary action from the following, riding a bicycle, picking up a pencil, regular beating of heart, walking in a straight line. A, B and D are voluntary. But regular beating of heart is involuntary because it is not under our control. Therefore, the option for second is option C. That is regular beating of heart. Now let us move for question number 3. In the question number 3, they have given an aqueous solution of sodium chloride is prepared in distilled water. The pH of this solution is, so sodium chloride when added to water, so it will become, uh, that is a neutral solution because sodium chloride, now strong base, sodium hydroxide, strong acid, that is hydrochloric acid. So Na plus combined with Cl minus to form NaCl, so NaCl, Idu strong base, strong acid. Strong base and strong acid always gives us neutral salt. Therefore, the pH of the neutral salt is 7. Therefore, option is C, that is 7. Next, let us move for question number 4. The current carrying device which produces a magnetic field similar to that of a bar magnet is among these four options, the right option is a solenoid. A solenoid will produce a magnetic field which is similar to that of bar magnet. So for fourth question, the right option is option C, that is solenoid. Now let us move for question number 5. So in the question number 5, they have given, sometimes while running, the athletes suffer from muscle cramps. Why? How is the respiration in this case different from aerobic respiration? So, sometimes while running, the athletes suffer from muscle cramps. Why? So, let us answer for this question. Because, because when we do, when we do over exercise, when we do over exercise, our muscle, our muscle cells will get, will get insufficient supply of oxygen. Our muscle cells will get insufficient supply of oxygen. Due to this, due to this, Pyruvate is converted into pyruvate is converted into pyruvate is converted into lactic acid. Pyruvate is converted into lactic acid, which which gives pain to muscles. which gives pain to muscles. How is the respiration in this case different, uh, different from aerobic respiration? Here, the respiration takes place. Here, the respiration takes place in absence of, sorry, in lack of oxygen. In lack of oxygen. But in aerobic, 
the respiration will take place in presence of oxygen but here it takes place in absence uh, sorry in lack of oxygen so due to lack of oxygen only lactic acid is produced now let us move for question number 6 write the other name given to lymph state its two function so let us uh, write the other name of lymph so other name given to lymph is called as lymphatic nodes lymphatic nodes the two function of lymph is it carries it carries digested fat it carries digested fat from small intestine then it acts as a it acts as a body defense since it contains wbc it acts as a body defense now let us move for next seventh question copper powder is taken in a china dish and heated over a burner name the product formed and state its color write the chemical equation for the reaction involved so copper powder is taken in a china dish and heated over a burner name the product formed and state its color so the product is the name of the product is called as copper oxide so copper oxide is formed then what is the color of that copper oxide the copper oxide is black in color then uh, write the chemical equation anta keliyare so 2 cu plus o2 give rise to 2 cuo this is copper oxide which is black in color now let us move for question number 8 write the chemical equation for the chemical reaction which occurs when the aqueous solution of barium chloride and sodium sulfate react together write the symbol of the ions present in the compound precipitated in the reaction write the symbol of the ions present in the compound precipitated in the reaction so let us uh, write this one so barium chloride bacl2 reacts with sodium sulfate na2so4 give rise to 2 nacl plus baso4 and this baso4 is white ppt this is white precipitate a uh, white precipitate do now ions galanna bariyadadre ba plus and so4 minus so these two are the ions now let us move for ninth question an electric source can supply a charge of 750 coulomb if the current drawn by a device is 15 micro ampere find the time in which the electric source will be discharged completely so we have to calculate the time they have given charge they have given current we have to calculate the Uh, that is uh, time we have to calculate so he first uh, in the ninth question they have given current i is equal to 15 micro ampere is given so 15 into 1 micro ampere is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 ampere so that is equal to 15 divided by 15 divided by 10 to the power of 3 so that is equal to 15 divided by so three zeros next charge given that is equal to they have given charge q is equal to 750 coulomb now we have to calculate that time so we know the relation i is equal to q by t rate of flow of charges is called current so now we want time time is equal to q by i t t na mele ik tarandu hogi q na t i na kelak tarana so q 750 into idike reciprocal takondre 15 by 1000 ge reciprocal 1000 by 
15 ones are 15 15 fives are 75 0 so time is equal to so I'll get 1 5 ones are 5 1 2 3 4 it will be equal to 50,000 seconds so seconds it will be 50,000 seconds so let us move for 10th question study the experimental setup shown in the diagram and write the chemical equation for the chemical reaction involved name and define the type of reaction list uh, are two other metal which can be used in place of iron to show the same type of reaction with copper sulfate solution so now let us uh, answer for this question so first write the chemical equation for the chemical reaction involved so chemical equation so iron and copper sulfate so this is the tenth question so let us write the chemical equation for this one now Fe plus CuSO4 give rise to FeSO4 plus Cu deposited so, this is the chemical equation. Name and define. So, this reaction is called as, the name of this reaction is displacement reaction. Next, define mine. How to define the displacement reaction? The reaction in which, the reaction in which more reactive element a reaction in which more reactive element displaces less reactive elements less reactive elements next other list other two metal which can be used in place of iron to show the same type of reaction with copper sulfate solution and so otherwise we can take zinc one though next to Ernest we can take a magnesium so now let us move for question number 11 so in the question number 11 they have given taking the example of any two animal hormones along with their gland of secretion explain how this hormone helps in growth and development and regulate metabolism in the body so taking the example of any two animal hormone along with their gland of secretion explain how these animal hormones helps in the growth and development so adike naviga first nidikogana name of the gland so the gland name is called as pituitary gland pituitary gland and the hormone it secretes the name of the hormone that pituitary gland will secrete is called as growth hormone growth hormone this hormone this hormone helps in helps in the growth and development of growth and development of child and adults then second type of gland is called as the name of the gland is thyroid gland the name of the gland is called thyroid gland the name of the hormone that it secretes is called as thyroxine and this thyroxine this hormone this hormone helps in helps to regulate helps to regulate the metabolism of helps to regulate the metabolism of fats proteins and carbohydrates 
and carbohydrates now let us move for question number 12 in the question number 12 they have given earth wire is a safety measure in domestic circuit justify this statement explain its role in case of accident leakage of electrical appliances so now let us answer the question number 12 so let us answer the 12th question our thing is a safety device our thing is a safety device which is connected to which is connected to connected to all the all the appliances all the appliances having metallic body metallic body this device will protect the protect a person from electric shock from a electric shock whenever there is a leakage or excess current flows excess current flows through metallic body metallic body earthing wire earthing wire creates a path creates a low resistance path creates a low resistance path for the flow of for the flow of leakage current for the flow of leakage current through it through it deep into the earth deep into the earth so that by this by this even though a person touches the metallic body touches the metallic body metallic body he will never get he will never get electric shock so this is how the elect the earthing wire will acts in pay in case of accidental leakage of electrical appliances now let us move for question number 13 13 explain chlor alkali process and write balanced equation for the reaction that occur name the gases obtained at the anode and cathode respectively mention two uses of the two gases obtained in the abo process so now let us move for question number 13 so now let us explain the chlor alkali process so sodium chloride 5% of chlor sodium chloride with 95% of water is called as brine solution is called brine solution when when take a brine solution take a brine solution in an in an 
electrolytic bath in an electrolytic bath dip two electrodes dip two electrodes in them one one acts as a cathode and another acts as a anode as a anode when electricity is passed when electricity is passed through when electricity is passed through brine solution when electricity is passed through brine solution sodium chloride is disassociate into na plus and cl minus the cathode the cathode is rich in electrons it rich in electron therefore sodium ion by receiving one electron receiving one electron will become sodium atom and therefore and therefore sodium is collected therefore sodium is collected at cathode and chlorine gas chlorine gas is released at anode and hydrogen gas is released at and hydrogen gas is released at cathode so na plus plus 1e minus give rise to na plus sorry na so idu 2 comma 8 2 comma 8 idu idu 2 comma 8 comma 1 idu so this sodium is collected at cathode next name the two gases that is uh, one is hydrogen another one is chlorine no? let us write the uses of hydrogen and chlorine so uses of hydrogen it is used as a fuel one yerne do it is used in preparing margarine that is margarine artificial ghee that is dalda then what are the uses of chlorine it is used in it is used in making pvc second one it is used as it is used in used as a used as a water disinfectant so these are the uses of hydrogen and chlorine now let us move for the 14th question so draw a schematic diagram of circuit consisting of battery of four cells 1.5 volt cells a 5 ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor and 15 ohm resistor and plug and a plug key all connected in series now find the electric current passes through the circuit potential difference across the 10 ohm resistor 
when the plug key is closed so let us answer this question first now more resistor series are connect man so 14th question this is uh, resistor 1 This is resistor having a resistance 5 ohm. This is 10 ohm and this is 15 ohm. All are connected in parallel. Uh, sorry, all are connected in series. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4 cells are connected in 4 cells are total 6 volts. Each cell having 1.5. So, it will be six total 6 volts. Either. So, on the plug key akundi Next to one the hold meter na connect man in a parallel like so adetara one the ammeter na series a connect man one the ammeter na series a connect man so ido circuit diagram so circuit diagram ito ega nao adalaga de current passes through the circuit so circuitally current is pass akta ide enta find out man so first now current is the find out first let us add all the total resistance rs is equal to 5 plus 10 plus 15 which is equal to 25 plus 5 30 ohm in now total voltage bandu 6 volts so i is equal to question according to ohms law i is equal to v by r V and the six so R and the thirty five ones are sorry six ones are six fives are I is equal to one by five which is equal to zero point two ampere. So this is the current that flows through the circuit zero point two ampere. Next to other like a final potential difference across the ten ohm resistor. So I lay current to same irate. So, I is equal to 1 by 5 ampere. If now resist, yaw resistor nali voltage, voltage divide agate. So, we have to find out the uh, voltage across 10 ohm resistor. Agar V is to the calculate man. Ega 6 volts to divide agate. So, let us write down R. Uh, we have to calculate V now. So, V calculate man. V is equal to I into R. V is equal to 1 by 5 into R under 10. 5 1s are 5 2s. So voltage is equal to 2 volts. Agadra, two, uh, 10 ohm resistor nali, 2 volts next to voltage. Voltage divide agadha. 6 volts will be divided uh, among 5 ohm, 10 ohm, and 15. Agadha, 10 ohm ali, 2 volts next to voltage. So like this, we have to answer this question. Remaining question of set 2 will be answered in the next video. Till then, thank you very much. Still, those who are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Those who already subscribed, please watch my videos, like my videos and share my videos. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video. Once again, thank you very much.